Hello, welcome back to Farming Simulator 15 with me, Cosmic Knight. Okay, it's episode one of Culper Park Farm. Uh, let's crack on, we've got quite a lot to do. It's still quite early in the morning, but most of these fields are already ready to be harvested. So I really want to crack on and um, get them in. There's actually some fields we don't owe, don't own, I should say, that are, uh, that are ready. So I'm going to do the ones we do own, and then if we've got any time, I'll see if we can get some of the others as well for a bit of extra cash. Uh, I am playing this on normal, because uh, so I don't want to be spending hours and hours um, trying to earn a bit of money. Just got to try and remember all the keys now. Oh, and um, something I forgot to mention as well. I've also got something else working. Uh, I've got a head track working. <laughs> and I'm really impressed with it. It works really well. So now when I can uh, drive, all I need to do now is get my steering wheel uh, up and running and then we'll be laughing. It'll be just like the real thing. It's so cool. I'm really only going to use it for a front loader. Uh, because you, can, you basically I've got it so the, it mimics the mouse. So when I turn my head, I can do it with the mouse as well. But um, yeah, it is very cool. Um, I've not seen too many, too many other people use this yet, so... Uh, just going to turn it off for a second. Um, yeah, so it's certainly going to make using the front loader, loader easier because we're going to be using a lot of bales. So fingers crossed. Right, so I've got a mod installed called Auto Combine. Uh, I've never used it before. So I think what it does, it just enhances uh, the hired help. So basically, if we have a look on here, uh, the only thing that I can see that you need to worry about is this, so it goes up or down, or in circles. Um, and then you can change the offset, got these little lines here, if you can see them. You can move them across, and then you've got lane offset. Um, auto unload when you're driving, auto combine on. And then you want left or right side, so left side it will focus on this side of the header. The right side it will be this side, so we want it there. So fingers crossed if we just push H. Um, oh, oh, that's why. Right. Got to just unfold it. Get the hired helping. If we push five, actually, you can see it start to track, and it's actually a very good. Um, just want to turn. Draw off. Just to, to stop the hide help. There we go. Oh, it's been so long I forgot what all my keys are. Obviously got the chop straw mod installed, so you see that go down there like that. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, and this uh auto combine it follows the outside of the, the fields really, really well. So um, pretty happy with that. So we're just going to get a trailer on this one. There should be a weight somewhere. I think it's in the little courtyard. So put that on and all. I will set up some cosplay, but uh, they can be a bit tight coming through here. So. I'll probably just try and get one that works and then have that as the end bit of route eventually. <coughs> Alright, so yeah, also got the saw mod installed. Uh, that's really new to me. I've never used it before, uh, never played with it. Uh, all I've done is literally read the uh, instructions and I'm just going to hope for the best but it looks pretty straightforward so <laughs> famous last words but we'll see how we get on all right so that's there that's there that's there don't need that one all right so this tractor I'm very quickly see this is where the old head track comes in really handy so I've got so I can use the joystick and then use the old front loader as well. 
it's, uh, it's really, I'm not going to use it all the time because I'll be a little bit conscious it might make people a little bit motion sick so uh, let me know what you think of that but I am going to be using it picking up bales okay so I think we're just going to go field 22 And I am going to use uh, cosplay for this. Just going to unload that. Probably what I might do, I might set up the uh, combine to come over here to unload them to the trailer. I think that might be the easiest thing to do. Just initially anyway. So that's what I like about that auto combine, that, that seems to get it all on the edges. So we we'll let it do the headland two or three times and I'll probably stick it on the um, up and down. Right, so I don't think, um, yeah, I don't think it has the grass fields. It doesn't, it can't detect them. So we're going to have to do this manually, which is fine. But apparently, someone said that if you um, start recording and put it in reverse mode and drive forwards you get a lot more waypoints so apparently it does a better job yeah oh yeah look at that look at it. so w when you go around corners you get a, a lot better corner because we're only using this for the the edge marker you know it's not going to have any uh, effect on reversing or anything like that it's literally just for marking the boundary Oh wow, yeah, that's a, that's a handy little tip that. Obviously straight lines, it looks much the same. Uh, but should get more on the edges. But then you probably all knew that anyway, because I haven't played this for ages. <laughs> but I have been playing games though. Um, I spent a bit of time playing GTA 5, which I absolutely love. Um, uh, recently I've been playing Elite Dangerous a bit, that's why I started using my head tracking. Uh, because that, that's really nice using head tracking on Elite Dangerous. So I'm not too fussy about getting right in the corners, you know, it's not, it's not really the end of the world. Right, let's stop that there. All that field... Oh, was it 22? 22. Cool, so I've got that in. Uh, I've got no idea how wide this is. I think this is pretty good at doing the offset. We might just have to do it manually. Just move this over to offset. over to the left side. I want to say it's about two, two and a half metres. Two and a half metres. Over there. Always use four wheel drive active. Okay, so let's start uh, northeast, should we? Head south. Headland, we go around 
twice, I think. And we want to go around clockwise. Uh, doesn't matter, actually. Let's go, let's go anti clockwise. Uh, because then at least we get the, the mower close to the hedge then. Trying to make that. First waypoint. Oh, that's probably started right up there, is it? Was it up at northeast? So if we have a quick look. So because of these extra waypoints, actually, so it looks like it's done the the corners pretty well. We'll see how that goes though. Drive course. Oh, need to get round. I really don't want to waste too much time with the combine sitting about. So some of the things I want to buy straight away, um, which we don't own, let's just have a look at our garage. Um, so we've got four tractors, uh, the New Holland, uh, the Multi there, the T6, the Puma, two front loaders and some attachments, uh, the New Holland Combine, uh, the discs, what's that, three, six metres, uh, this plough, I might sell this plough and get us the four far, I think that might be a bit much. Okay, so we've got that. Uh, yeah, we know we've got these. Uh, the bale blower. Cool, cool. Obviously, right, so we've got uh, a big weight. I'll probably put that on the Puma. Uh, 25 cows, 25 sheep, 10 chickens, pressure washer. That's nice. And a muck spreader. Alright, so what we're definitely, definitely going to need is the sprayer because we've got a uh, soil mod, so that's going to be the first thing we're going to buy and um, probably one of the first things I'm going to buy as well is the round bale loader for 24,000 it's just going to make life a bit easier than using the trailer uh, because we have this 122 horsepower, I think it's the Puma oh that should pull it ok actually, that should pull the Oh, uh, yeah, HD. I might do square bales because I have got this, uh, I really want to try as well, which is uh, pretty cool. Must be going okay, it's even a nice bit of an edge, which I'm quite happy about. So, obviously, it's tracking this outside line. So it looks like it's going to leave a little bit here. Can't really do much about that. Probably not going to be far off. But it's making a nice smooth turn though. Yeah, I think that's. I can. I think that's definitely better than putting that in reverse. Definitely. I love this map. It's so pretty. And I actually uh, put a post on the FSUK forum with the support page for this map. Because uh, I said basically thanking um, Bullet Bill 83 who's the creator. Uh, just how beautiful it is. And, and I was just saying how it reminded me of the farm I grew up with. Even though it looks different. It, it flows the same. It's like these fields you can't get to apart from going through another field. And that's actually quite common on... Uh, well, most most farms, I'd imagine. Um, you know, not not every field has a road going to it, and these gates you have. You know, it's just it just feels very natural from my experience of uh, farming in the UK. You know, just this whole dairy area really. It's, although it's a slightly different layout, you know, is. You know, the diesel tank up there like that, that's very common in the UK and... I think I would have cut that tree down by now though, but... <laughs> yeah, no, it's um, 
it's a very very good map and I highly recommend you download it and play it uh, it won't natively have soil mod or be able to use soil mod I did have to delete the lime and um, manure texture mod that was part of the script which was a bit of a headache um, I had to go into the code and do that but it can be done oh, that's pretty sweet apart from that little them sharp them uh, right angles there I'm not surprised it misses a little bit Much more round, and um, think about going up and down. So I've got what else have I got? I've got uh, Follow Me installed. Uh, that's going to be really handy for doing some of the grass uh, bits and pieces. I'll be using that shortly, actually. Um, Oh, GPS, which is there. That's going to be really handy for um, using the um, fertilizer spreader with the uh, nitrogen because it's not obvious where you've been. So at least with that, we'll have a little bit of a, an idea of areas we haven't uh, spread nitrogen and whatnot. On. And basically, GPS on modern day transfers is pretty commonplace now. So these tractors have the boxes on the top. Oh, that's it, just wait there for a second. Not sure what happened there. Did that start going up and down and try and turn round? Well, I'll tell you what, let's go around four times. I think that's probably the problem. I don't think. Uh, Two is going to be enough to turn. We should go around six times. Okay. Sort of. Working now. Okay, but what we'll do instead, we'll um, see if we can follow this one. Nearest waypoint. Carry on as if nothing's happened. Let's just go and move that trailer out of the way. Should we go and empty it? Let's get a bit of head looking going on. It's nice as I can look right behind as well. It's a bit weird though, until you get used to it. Okay. So this is why um, it's not going to be easy for cause play because it's hard enough trying to drive it in here anyway. Probably somewhere there. Probably a bit too far out actually. Oh my goodness, probably better. Why is that hit that roof on it? Cool, let's go. much we can do down here at the moment um, till we start getting some feed and that, get some straw bales. All cracking on nicely. 
right, let's just drive this up to the farm. And this is the uh, just the attention to detail. I mean, look at that. He's got the uh, teddy handle there with a flag on the top. <laughs> it's just absolutely brilliant. I think this is where the cattle come down to. Uh, you sell them here. Pig shed and cow shed. I'd imagine you just back the trailer in there. There's people walking about. Ooh, sounds like the auctioneer's going. There's a bit of a workshop over here, so that's the shop there. Tractor in for repair. Where you sell your bits and pieces. Over here, let's drive over there, shall we? So in here we have uh, the sell point for the grain, as you can see, in there. All the wheat and bits and pieces. In there, that's where we sell the milk. Don't think you can sell anything else. It's just the milk. Actually, that just reminds me. I just need to place down um, the no sell sign. We're going to put that here. So even though I've got the mod installed, I think you have to put this down. I might be wrong. This will. Um, How do you, can you rotate? Let's come out there and do that again. Oh, it's a bit uh, twitching. Let's put that there somewhere, just in front of that. Yeah, so that should stop the milk disappearing. Uh, I think that's where you sell the wool, and you can get some lime from there. Uh, you've got water from here, just to fill up the Bowser. Seeds and bits and pieces, I think you um, buy saplings there and sell eggs there. Which is all very nice. So we're just going to go and get this ready with the cultivator. But you've got to be a bit careful now we've got the soil mod because um, as you can see the, the soil has moisture and ploughing takes out 14% of your moisture. So we only really want to plough uh, when we put manure down because when you put manure down you have to plough to get the nutrients into the soil which is right. But I mean, in real life, it doesn't really make that much difference with moisture, especially in the UK, because um, we get so much rain anyway. Uh, but it's an interesting dynamic to the game, and it's something we've got to think about now. Um, weed infestation, we're going to have to... Probably one of the first things I'll do is put a herbicide on. Fortunately, we don't have to worry about pesticides at the moment. Maybe that'll come with an update, though. But we've got some pretty big fields to start with, you know, there's quite a lot of grain here, so we're going to, you know, have a good start, a good start. You know, it would certainly be, if you wanted to play a map on hard, um, this would be a good one, because you get a really good head start. there for a minute. I think what I'm going to do...
just set up the self unload. I'm just trying to think if you need to put a weight point in. I think you do. Actually, I'm just going to go and check. I'll be back. Right, yeah, as I suspected. It does need one. So... Let's make a start. somewhere and that should do so I think if we right okay so what we need to do I'm just gonna change this to uh, up and down now let's just go back to where it was It's not something I normally use, but uh, it's quite a good feature, feature, and it is something we used to do on the farm. We don't always have enough people to um, drive the corn cart, especially on something like maize. Uh, not maize, so uh, obviously right. Because uh, normally you can get a whole field in one trailer. So if we hit that, and then drive course. Fingers crossed, it's going to work. So, is there any way to see? Can't actually. Um, if I try and remember where that is. Right, that's coming on okay. Good. Oh, so I just had a quick look at the time and we've been going for almost half an hour now, so I think that this is probably a good time to wrap up the episode. Um, made quite a good start. Uh, next episode we'll... Um, I don't know if we'll bail this or get the uh, f um, forage wagon to pick it up. Uh, the one we've got here. So I think we might use this just to pick it up initially and stick some in a silo. Just get that going as we can. Put that up to maximum. <laughs> Fingers crossed. It means we haven't got a babysitter quite so much. Which would be nice. Oh. Yeah, I think we're okay. Oh. Yeah, I thought they'd gone a bit... Oh, would you believe it? fine. I suppose that's the trouble going a bit quick. Right, yeah, so I'm going to end it here um, and I'll be straight back and we'll carry on. I'll see you next time. Take care.